Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video, I wanna be talking about the 24 hour clock that we use in healthcare. And whenever you get done watching this YouTube video, don't forget to access the free quiz that will test you on this content. So let's get started. In most healthcare facilities, nurses are required to follow the 24 hour clock, which most people know this as military time, rather than following the 12 hour clock, which is AM and PM times. Now as a nurse, you are going to be dating and timing things constantly and whenever you're looking at the medication administration record it's going to be giving you times in the 24-hour format for whenever you need to administer medications so it's really important you're familiar with this now why do we use the 24-hour clock in most facilities than the 12-hour clock well we want to prevent errors so for instance let's say a patient needs a medication at four o'clock well it's not good to write the medication needs to be given at 4 a.m or 4 p.m because that could cause room for error instead the provider or the pharmacist can put in 0 400 hours or 1600 hours and those two numbers are completely different so that helps prevent errors so now let's look at the 24 hour clock versus the 12 hour clock here on the board i have the first 12 hours of the day which are the a.m hours and then over here i have the last 12 hours of the day which are the p.m hours so first let's look at those first 12 hours of the day whenever you convert it over to the 24 hour clock it's very very simple you just look at the time and either put a zero in front of the number or just rewrite it without the colon. So we're starting bright and early at 1 a.m. So 1 a.m. in military or the 24 hour clock time is 0 100 hours. 2 a.m. is 0 200 hours and it goes all the way like that until we hit noon time 12 and it's 1200 hours. Then we flip over to the last 12 hours of the day. And this is where it takes a little bit of work on your part. So 1 p.m. is going to go to 1300 because remember we're going to 24 hours so it's just going to keep on counting. So we over here we're over at 12, now we're over at 13. And then 2 p.m. is going to be 1400 hours, 3 p.m. is going to be 1500 hours, and then so forth until we get to midnight. Now midnight could either be 2400 hours or 0 hundred hours. Now, whenever it flips over to after we're getting past midnight, let's say 12.01, 12.02, et cetera, et cetera. For 12.01, it would be 0001, and that time would keep going like that, such as 0002, 0003 hours. And there are different variations of how you can say these times. For example, 2.01 p.m., which would be 14.01 hours, could be said as 14.01 hours or 1.40 one hours and so on. Now, how can you remember these last 12 hours of the day? Because over here, the first 12 hours, easy. Last 12 hours, I take some thinking. Well, remember the number 12. So whenever we're trying to go from the 12 hour clock to the 24 hour clock, let's say it's 2 p.m. All you have to do is add 12. So 12 plus, plus two is 14. 3 plus 12 is 15, you got your time. Now let's say you're in military time, but you're trying to get back to the 12 hour clock. You subtract 12. So if it's, you see the time, it's 1400, subtract 12, you're gonna get two, so you know it's 2 p.m. If it's 1500, subtract 12, you get three, you know it's 3 p.m. So hopefully that little trick will help you. Also, let me give you an example of military time with minutes. How would you say that? Well, let's say the time is 2.21 p.m., so 14.21. How would you say that? You would say it as 14.21 hours. And another example would be, let's say, 4.01 p.m. How would you say that? You would say that as 16.01 hours. Now let's say you cannot get this information to stick in your head. It's just too confusing for you going between 24 hours to 12 hours. Well, whenever you're first starting out as a nurse, what you can do to help yourself out is you can get a watch and put it in military time. Or you can set your phone to that as well, or maybe even the computer that you're using at work, you can set that to the 24 hour clock. But after a while, once you are doing this day in and day out, you are eventually going to get this information to click in your head and you'll literally probably be speaking to your friends like, oh yeah, I'll meet you there at 1600. And they'll be like, huh? <laughs> because you're just so used to those times. So now let me test your knowledge on how well you know the 24 hour clock with this quiz question. At 18 minutes after midnight, the nurse starts the second unit of packed red blood cells on a patient needing a total of three units. What time will the 
the nurse document that the second unit of packed red blood cells was started using the 24 hour clock. And the answer is 0018 hours. Now, if you'd like more free quiz questions to test your knowledge on this material, you can access the link in the YouTube description below. And thank you so much for watching.